Hi, my name is Megan. I am a water quality analyst here at Lock Clean Water Alliance in the Water Quality Laboratory. I am going to give you a little tour of the lab, talk to you about what I do here, and tell you why it's so cool. So first off, one of the things you have to know is there's always somebody in the lab. It's a seven day a week job. We are always testing what the operators here bring into us to make sure that we're treating the wastewater correctly. We report some of those numbers to Department of Ecology because we have a permit with them. And a lot of the rest of the numbers we use ourselves to make sure that things are operating the way we want them to. And a lot of this has to do with the microbiology that we're trying to support here. I'd like to introduce you to our microorganisms. This is a sample we took to see how well our microorganisms are settling. But if you take a look at these, a lot of them look like dirt. And you'd be right, a lot of it is very similar to what microbes you'll find in soil or in ponds. Uh, it's a lot different from the bacteria that's in your gut. And we use these microbes in order to treat the wastewater so that we can get something very clean to put out into Puget Sound. So in addition to all of these microbiology tests that we run, there's a lot of different chemical and physical tests that we run in the laboratory to make sure that all the different processes are running the way that we want them to. There's biochemical oxygen demand, known as BOD. There are gas analyses. There's suspended solids that we run. There are turbidities, spectrophotometers, conductivity, residual chlorine titrators, pH, uh, muffle furnace for volatilizing solids, that's at 550 degrees Celsius. Additional testing to test nutrients to make sure that we are removing nutrients that could be harmful to the environment. Solids testing, and then our analytical balances that help us with measuring all of these as well. I'm back in the microbiology analysis room now. Every day we run tests in here to make sure that the water that we're sending out to Puget Sound is properly disinfected. And in addition to that, I also have my microscope in here so that I can look at those microbes that I showed you at the beginning of this video. So this is a live view of a slide that I've put on the microscope today to look at how the biology is doing in the biomass I showed you earlier. And we do this pretty regularly because we wanna make sure that the biology that we are growing out there is healthy and happy and growing and doing all the work that we need them to do. So we look at this pretty regularly and that's one of my favorite things to do here. You can tell a lot by looking under a microscope and I look under the microscope a lot and it's really cool to have a job that I can do that with. Some of the things that can be challenging about this job is making sure that we have all of the right numbers. That takes a lot of work, a lot of teamwork, and a lot of quality control so that we can make sure that all of the numbers are accurate and precise so that anything that we report both to Department of Ecology or to our operators can be used to the best of their ability. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I'm glad you got to come on a tour of the lab with me. I'm gonna get back to it. So in the meantime, I have a question. Do you have a favorite microbe? If you don't, maybe you should look into that. Bye.